Hi fellow engineers, and what we're looking at today is actually creating geometry which has other geometry either union in or excluded or divided from the actual uh, master geometry. So this kind of effect you'll see in Inkscape or Illustrator or any um, design package. And here is an example of it in Inkscape where the original geometry used to be a square and a rectangle and they've been union together. And this one has had this square removed from the center here. So if I just undo this, you can see the original geometry here. And all we've done is selected the both, gone to path and union, and it's union to those together. And the same with the vision. So I can place this here. Select them both and go onto the path and use something like exclusion or division to actually remove it from the center here. So, this is the kind of thing we want to try and do in Freescape. So, if I create a new uh, file and I'm in the part design here, it's where I want to be. And the first thing I want to do is create a body. So, we click on create a new body and make it active. Um, or we can actually go to, as long as we've got the tasks on down here, we're going to create body here. So click that. And we can either click the create a new sketch or create a sketch from the start body option here. Okay. We'll select XY plane because we're looking down onto the, onto the actual um, workpiece from above. And press OK. So the first thing I want to do is create an object in here. And I want to use the sketcher to do this. So we're all, we've been thrown into the sketcher here. And as you can see, some of my tools aren't actually available to actually create any um, geometry on this page. So what I'm going to do is go to View, Toolbars, and click on Sketcher Geometries. And there's all the sketch geometries here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, I think I'm going to use a circle in here. So let's throw a circle in. So there we are. And the first thing I'm going to do that with that is I'm going to actually... Okay, that's on closing. I'm going back to the part design. And I'm going to pad this by... I'm going to keep it 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's nicely padded now. So if we spin this, uh, spin this geometry around with the Alt and using the mouse, you can see it's been padded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually hide the padding. So to hide the padding, you have to click on the pad, go to model, so that there's visibility to false, and make sure your sketch is visible so we can see what we're doing. So you can jump over to now to the sketch, so I can either jump over to fire the Sketch sketcher here, but it's best to just actually double click on the sketch itself so you know you're editing the right sketch, especially if you have many sketches here. So now I'm going to add some geometry in here and I'm going to remove the um, where I had the geometry in, I'm going to remove part of this circle. So I'm going to use the square geometry, uh, sorry, rectangle geometry here, and I'm just going to add this in. Here, okay. So you can actually do your um, your restrictions on here. Um, do actually restrict the size of this if you want to. But I'm just going to actually add this to, add this into into the geometry. So the next thing I want to do is actually remove this line here. Or should I? Yes. I want to remove this line here, and I'll remove all these lines here. So I actually cut this piece into the geometry here. The way you do that is use this tool at the top here, which is called Trim and Edge with respect to the picked position. So I'm going to click on this, and it's a simple case of clicking the edge we want to remove, and we keep on going. So you can see we've removed those two edges now. 
and click on this edge, we'll remove that one now so we we'll actually create space in here. Now, because this edge over the side here is orphaned, we can't actually remove it with the tool. So the best way to remove that is if I press escape to go back to my normal cursor, and if I click and drag to select around this shape, and I hit delete on the keyboard, and I've deleted it, deleted that uh, orphan shape now. So now if I go to a padding, uh, sorry, if I go close on the sketcher, and go over to the padding, now we're in part designer, and set this visibility to true, we'll now see that, spin this around, we can actually see a chunk has been taken away from the inside. We don't have to repad or anything. So what I'm going to do now is actually add a piece um, to the top here. So it juts out. So to do that, we'll jump back into our sketch, double clicking on the sketch, and we're going to add a piece on the left hand side here. So click on the actual uh, rectangle. I'm going to do the same over this side, but this time I want to remove this edge, this edge, and this edge, so, and this one, so we actually have this piece of uh, geometry connected to the circle. So again, we click on the uh, trim, trim and edge tool, and start to remove these edges. So first one I'm going to remove is the circle edge, and this bit, and this side, oops, again. So those are removed, and again we can't remove this one, so we just escape, select that edge, and hit delete. And now if we close our sketcher, we can see that's been added. See, it's simple as that. So that's made a nice shape there that we can actually cut on our CNC machine or extrude on our uh, 3D printer. And so that's it for now. Um, I'll be using this technique in my next project. We're making the Geneva wheel. And until then, hope this has uh, proved of interest and of use to you. Cheers for now.